Rob's back with us, and he's going to show us how to be anonymous on the internet. On the internet. On their internet. That's it. There okay. you go. Cool. So you're going to talk to us a little bit about Tor. Tor. Now, what is Tor? I don't know. It's the Onion Router, actually. Okay. The, um, so it stands for the Onion Router. Correct. Where'd that come from? Um, originally from the Navy, and then they dropped the project, and the EFF picked it up and made it public, so everybody can use it. The Electronic Frontier Foundation. Correct. And we just raised nearly $3,000 for them. We did. Way to go. 2880 <laughs> Right on. There you go. So... It's a way to be anonymous on the internet, but how does that really work? Well, it works through nodes, basically servers. It's just another word for it. And you, the client, connect to these nodes from A to B to C to D, and then out through E. And that kind of like, kind of like routers on the internet. Correct. So, say like you were trying, you were A, the client, right? And you're trying to talk to D, the server, right? And you have to go through B and C, right? But B doesn't know about D, and C doesn't know about A. Correct, because C the, it's like, the server has no logs at all. Oh, that's great. So if like the FBI were to subpoena one of those routers, they wouldn't know anything. Right. That's pretty cool. Now, how does that affect network performance? Well, right now, since there's not very many people actually being servers, no one's being nice about it, um, it's really degraded because it's so populated. So, so many people are actually being the clients and, and taking control of the services, but not being the servers themselves. Okay. So, you'd suggest that more people look into actually becoming nodes oh, yeah. on the router. Awesome. So, this sounds like it's not really a good way if you'd like to be anonymous doing things like BitTorrent, trying to get the latest movie from some mini Nova something. It, it's not a good way to, to anonymize your uh, right. BitTorrent traffic. Right. You're not going to max out your um, total download speed or okay. bandwidth. Well, what kind of traffic can you use over Tor? Well, you can use anything that uses SOX, has the ability to use SOX. You know, Tor doesn't actually create a SOX server, but it uses the same communication. So, game, so all your IRCs, or oh, your, your, your instant, instant messages. messages IRC? Sorry. It uses IR, you can use IRC on it. Obviously the web. Web, web browser, and um, FTP. Also FTP and email. Great. So, all those things can easily go through the Tor router. Okay, and Tor is uh, cross-platform, I'm assuming? Yes, it, it's Linux, FreeBSD, Windows, anything. Open source? Yeah. So completely. you know it's been audited and, and yes, it's secure? Great. Um, now, you've also got with you here a live uh, distro. Of, uh, is it Linux or FreeBSD? FreeBSD distro um, called Anonymous with a dot between the O and S. Okay, so it's just called OS. Anonymous? Right. But it's like an anonymous OS? Right. That's kind of cool. And what's in this distribution? Well, it's, it's really nice because... As soon as you boot it up, it asks you a couple questions to set up either wired or wireless, and just yes, no, C, B, all those different options. And then you're set up on a Tor or FreeBSD distro. So no configuration for your socks, no anything like that. And all you have to do is open up your web browser and you're through Tor. So it, does it have like a, a set of tools built into it? Yeah, your, your initial <laughs> BSD tools, but it also has uh, Firefox on it, game. IRC, IRSSC, mm -hmm. and um, different Thunderbird and all those. Okay, so you've tools. got a great suite of internet applications Correct. already on the CD. You boot up, and it's automatically on the Tor network. You know it's anonymous. Right. And the cool thing is, if you're at a friend's house, you don't have administrative access. You can easily just boot off this. Doesn't matter if you're at school, at work, at there your friend's you place. Bam! You've got your own toolkit that'll get you on the internet anonymously. Yep. Now, so need. what kind of ports does that use, though? Well, initially, it runs over 991, and most people block that. So Tor has actually gone on to 80 and 443. Okay, which so makes your basic it, web and SSL right, ports. Everybody has to have that open, so it's good. Great. So if people would like to find out more about Tor and about Anonymous, where should they head? Tor.eff.org is where you can find Tor. But Anonymous is... There's a long extent, long URL, and we'll have it in the show notes probably. Great. Right down here or wherever. So if you're interested in being anonymous on the Internet and would like to check out these awesome uh, cross-platform open source and also uh, free Linux Live or BSD Live distribution. BSD. I know the, uh, the Berkeley people Linux. are going to flame me now. But uh, go ahead and hit up the show notes, hack5.org. Rob, thanks so much for joining no us. No problem. Thank you.